What's going on everybody? It's your boy Payne. Welcome back to another Street Fighter video. It's been a few hours since you've seen me. Surprise, surprise, I'm back though, right? All right, guys, uh, we're going to be doing a showcase. Before I update the tier list, which is going to happen very soon, and first off, before I even do the, the showcase, I want to say thank you to everyone who's contributed to this month's um, character builds. So shout out to Solo, shout out to uh, Bookin, and shout out to Easy, Evil Easy. Those three guys specifically have given us a lot of insight into Flame Chun-Li and where she belongs, so I'll be doing an update on her on the tier list. Uh, athlete Chun-Li, uh, I'll be doing Summer Yang, clearly because I've almost got her maxed out. And then I want to thank Evil Easy for Evil Ryu uh, and Akuma Comparison. So we, we are going to have a very, very tight-knit tier list based on other people's and the community's suggestions. And these are all high-end players who understand the characters very well. And they've worked with me to collaborate on getting these guys in the proper places. So the next tier list, guys, is going to come out very soon. I'll probably say tomorrow, maybe the following day, along with Street Fighter VI uh, streaming and some PS5 games. And just another wave of uh, Street Fighter Duel stuff and other games, right? So anyways, Showcase. Uh, this character here specifically is going to be Summer Yang. So I don't know about you guys, but every time I use this character, I don't know why, maybe it's the name, but I see him and I instantly think of Childish Gambino. If you don't know who that is, that is a famous rapper, Donald Glover, actor, rapper, actor, skit writer, producer, etc. Right? Very talented young man. Uh, I say young, he's probably a little younger than me. Um, one of my favorite hip-hop artists, one of my artists, period. But he has a song called Summer. It feels like some, uh, you know that song? You hear it on the radio all the time? Anyways, every time I use this character, I think of that damn song. Uh, it's a great song, so I like put it on my Spotify all the time and just listen to it while I play with uh, play with this character. This is really weird now. It's gone down a really dark path. Um, anyways, so Summer Yang, let's talk about him. This is one of the bucket list items that I've asked for for Street Fighter Duel. Give Flame a proper support. And I kid you not, he does not disappoint. So I'm going to talk about everything he is. I'm going to compare him to the other three supports that are out in the game. So Rose, Elena, and um, Street Poison. And how he differs, why he's not as good as some, and why he's better than others, and where you want to use him. And we're going to showcase him in a few different things. Okay, so let's talk about him. He is a flame unit. He's agility type. He's a support. And he is a 10 defense Budo fighting style. Okay, so... Uh, they should just give him a new stack called Fuckboy, plus 10 charm or something. Something that doesn't exist in the game, right? Um, he kind of looks like that. So first thing I want to point out is I did 30 his his FS. I don't know if it's really needed yet. Um, he does complement with this FS30 units like DJ, makes him a lot more viable uh, and other shield units, but I just don't see a need for it yet. So I'm going to talk about this a little more uh, into, while we get into it. Now his garage also... Haven't found a need for it, so we'll talk about this real quick. This is a good thing, guys. This is a thing that means that you don't have to maximize his character to get his full potential out. So, tie turner, okay? Three out of three cards. While the shield granted by the super combo or combo one is active, if the target is attacked, it reduces the attack of the the attacker's attack by twelve percent for four seconds. So, twelve percent attack is meh, not really much to be honest. And for four seconds, it's going to be kind of minuscule. Now there is no um, trigger interval so that's a good sign which means if he does uh the c1 fairly often or his his ultimate he, it, this happens every time right so that's a good thing that's a good sign uh, and it, it looks like it's 100 percent guarantee so there is no uh there's no like percentage that is affected by effect accuracy so that's kind of a good thing for sure while the shield granted by the super combo or combo one is active if the target is attacked deals 30 percent of the damage dealt back to the attacker uh, with true damage up to 300% of attack. So that's not bad, but I don't know and I can't test because I don't have it how much this is going to make a difference and I would imagine not too much to be honest, but hey, it's extra damage that can go back onto the opponent. So not a bad thing, okay? So cars, I'd say not a necessity, okay? Let's go into the skills now. Passive. Uh, while the shield granted by the super combo one is active, the damage dealt by the target is increased by 20%. So that's actually really, really, really good. Uh, target effect accuracy is increased by 20%. So this, I'm going to talk to you guys about why this is important, okay? Uh, and this one too. De uh, target's damage dealt and effect accuracy increased by 25%. So people like Viper, people like Dalsim, who do shock and burn, right? And then Dalsim would burn. His C1 is not only going to heal and give a shield, but it's also going to increase the damage by 25%. Now, add that on top of armor energy. Viper now does 50% more damage and 50% more effect accuracy. If that doesn't make sense to you, Dal Sim, same thing. He also has an effect accuracy increase, right? So, 
he's really, really good as a support. Even outside of the flame theme, he's just really, really good. Because he can also give Trendy Cammy that bonus. I'm going to show you guys what I mean by that when I show you the fight with her and him in it, okay? In the, in the Vega fight. Okay, when the shield is granted by the super combo or combo one, Summer Yang gains super armor for three seconds, which is great, which means he can't be knocked back while he's doing it. Now, there is one caveat, and I'll talk about it real quick about him, okay? So, super armor, of course, cannot be knocked back. Okay, let's talk about a super now. Plants the surfboard into the ground and pulls the target to it, <clears throat> picks up a woman along the way and brings her forward. Oh, I'm just kidding. Starts the target twice, dealing flame damage equal to 621 off attack. Keep, <clears throat> keep in mind, guys, it's flame damage. They don't highlight flame for some reason, but it's flame damage, not physical damage. Uh, the first strike has a 50% base chance to inflict armor break. Second strike applies a shield equal to 500% of the of the defense to all teammates, which is really, really good. So he does attack, armor break, plus shield. So his C1 isn't his only arsenal. His super is actually really, really good. The problem is you want to pair him with even harder hitters, so you won't really be using his special very often. For example, training Kami, you'll do her special rather than his. But nonetheless, if, he, if she does die, he's a great backup, right? And, and the percentage is fairly high. 621 is pretty good. So level 3 gives 100% base chance to do armor break and increases the shield value to 600% of his defense. Um, his best, uh, real quick, his best uh, FS is not going to be fast chat. I use him as a support in the back, so that's why he has fast chat on. But if you plan to use him as a DPS and a shielder, his actual best one will be Echo because it gives you defense up. Okay, So you want as much defense stacking on him as possible. Okay, uh, let's go back to the skills. So, his combo one. This is the main one. Now, real quick, you saw how he just did the whole surf sub dude, Kawabunga thing? So, he actually can get one shot when he's doing that. Now, the beauty of it is, though, he does get, um, he does get super armor, obviously, when he does his combo one. So, he can't be knocked back, but he can be knocked the F out. Like, like Debo knocking out somebody in Friday. Again, I'm aging myself. Okay, so surfs up with a surfboard, uh, applying a shield equal to 800% of Summer Yang's defense to all teammates for 15 seconds. Additionally, heals the whole team for 5% of Summer Yang's max HP. Additionally, heals the team by 8% 8% of his max HP. That is the same amount as Elena's, by the way. Okay, so where Elena does a hot after she heals with her FS, uh, leaving a little bit more healing behind, he grants a, a, a massive shield. And I want to point this out real quick, why he's a better, uh, better unit than Elena. He also does damage up and effect accuracy up where her FS30 Battle Dance only gives speed up by a little bit and attack up. Attack up is nowhere near as good as damage up. So real quick, just so you guys know, a lot of people were comparing the two and wondering, his passive is way, way better. Like way better. Okay, so just so you guys are aware. So he beats out Elena 110% for the top spot for support. Okay, I would even go as far as saying beats out Rose by a little bit even. Okay, so anyways, go into the C2. Strikes the target on the surfboard six times, dealing damage equal to 634 and wipes out. Each uh, it doesn't wipe out. Each strike has a 25% base chance of inflicting armor break. Each each one uh, each armor break is inflicted. The super combo gauge fills by 60 or by 60. So now he also gives you the 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 gauge up. Now the problem is it's a C2. Realistically, you're not going to use him for a C2. B Zhang will be your C2, and he, you're most likely going to use a C1. So this is again a backup C2 that you probably won't use. So mainly he's going to be used as a backup. A super and most most of the time will be used for this and his passive which is very important okay so again incredible kit guys incredible kit and i'm gonna show you why okay i'll show you guys shortly why uh in one of the one of the example battles okay so let's talk about his fs um wind and thunder skateboard as you see here i didn't get him to 30 i said i won't be because i don't think i need the fs 30 because he's not really paired with anyone who uses shields but in flame tower if you use him with dj he actually will help dj a lot with his own shield and dj does shields quite often so note that okay uh great wave replaces wave strike so great wave is actually uh this one here oh sorry oh, this one here right here wave strike okay so great wave will replace it and here's what it does instead so his c1 which is the most important skill uh, replaces Wave Strike with the Surfboard, applying a shield equal to 880% of, of Summer Yang's defense to all teammates for 8 seconds. Meanwhile, the whole team is healed for 6% of Summer Yang's max HP, and the teammate with the lowest HP is additionally healed for 10%. So, bonkers. Bonkers. Way better. Way, way better. Okay, so the, now he is the lowest target, and I'll, again, I'll show you why that's very important very soon. His assist, when a fighter is in assist position, upon taking a critical damage hit, which happens very often, the assisted fighter gains a shield equal value of 400% of Summer Yang's defense, shield lasts 15 seconds, and when the shield expires, otherwise disappears, or otherwise disappears, damage taken is reduced by 10% for 10 seconds, 15 second intervals. Really, really good assist for survival. Don't be afraid to use him for that, but problem is you're going to use him as a tag instead, because he's an incredible tag, believe it. 
Uh, the value of the shield granted goes up to 1,000% instead of 800% or 880. And then damage taken uh, in the 10 seconds following the dip disappearance of the shield, is uh, the damage is reduced by 20%. So incredible, incredible, right? Elena's damage reduction is only 8%. So right away, a way better unit. And then, of course, the FS30, all teammates gain a 50% shield boost upon a character's entrance. And it goes down to zero gradually. Again, really good for Flame Tower only. I don't really see value in this in anywhere else unless you use Shelter. It'll give that a little bit. But nonetheless, guys, an amazing, amazing character. I am so happy I got him up. I'm even thinking of pushing him to SSS plus five, but it's a silly idea to do that because he's a support. He really isn't required for that. So you can actually stop at SS, SSS with him. You'll be fine. You can, as a matter of fact, stop at SS plus with him if you want, or even SS because his six cards are not required. You're just boosting him up more, obviously, for his defense. So his shield's stronger and his healing's better off, right? So um, Bonds, his brother, who is just a chump. I think he's a chump personally. Uh, Mayor Cody, and then Street Poison. I don't know what their relationship is, but uh, uh, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, so there you go. That's it there. Now, I'm going to show you guys a fight with him in it, okay, and why he is so impressive. Now, I'm going to go to the Setsui Tower, and we're going to go Divine Execution. He is actually my healer and my DPS buffer uh, in the fight at, at, that's at the, at the end, and I'm going to show you guys why he's so important, okay? So Trendy Cammy is super squishy, but she's one of the best damage-dealing boss units in the game. I think I've showed you guys that already plenty of times. But I want to show you guys the replay. So down here, you can see here's MH Ken, Gen, uh, two, uh, that's really weird, um, Trade Kami and Yang. Now watch what he does, okay? He, very important to see how he functions, and I think you guys will be very impressed with this. So first off, I'll put it to times one, so you guys can kind of check, take a look. So you're, here the fight goes on for a little bit. Actually, you know what? I'll fast forward this, because I, I don't start for, oh no, did I start right away? I did. Okay, weird. Oh no, I didn't. Okay, good. I was like, did I start right away? I normally don't. So I'm going to wait till he goes to second bar and then we're going to slow it down here. Okay, so when Trendy Cami starts, and she's going to start very soon. Okay, there you go. Now watch him come in. There's the shield, there's the heal, and then there's the damage buffs on the on, on the units, okay? So you actually get to get all of the damage buffs. So she gets, so now Trendy Cami gets effect, effect accuracy up by 25%. And then she gets 25% um, damage. So for her specifically, look how fast her, her shock is building on top. It's already at 10. It's already at 10, okay? And we're only 36 seconds left. And now look, it just stays there because that shield keeps her alive, keeps her healed, gives her more damage, and keeps her effect accuracy up. With Trendy Kami, he is the perfect unit to work with because she needs more damage with her with her C3, and she needs to continue keeping shock up. There, she, she dropped it off there uh, because I guess I didn't get it off in time, but I didn't have enough super. But... Not only that, look at this, five, five already, right? Shield up, healed up. It's, he's just incredible. And the damage increase and the effect accuracy for, for debuffing units is almost essential, guys. You guys don't want to lose that. So I did 2.7 million or 2.275 billion there. I think that's what it was. So very, very important to keep him uh, with units who are squishy. Now, why does he differ compared to Elena? Why does he differ compared to Street Poison? Why does he differ compared to, um, Rose. Now, Street Poison has three of the best buffs, okay? Her C1. They're all C1 except for Rose. Rose is a C2, so she's a little different. Rose does random cards. Rose cards are crit, pressure, crit rate, pressure, speed, and I believe it's attack. I believe, okay? But she needs four of them to all apply, and then she gives 100% proficiency, and the increase is like 20% of each one. Damage increase for Yang, a 25%, is way more important than attack. Way more important than pressure, can be on not as, as important as crit because crit damage is the best multiplier, but still the more reliable of the two. And then effect accuracy is incredible. Now speed is obviously really good, but in boss fight speed is not that important because your speed usually maintains fairly leveled. Against Elena as a as a as a healer, he does a, he does higher percentage, so he does eight percent plus ten percent on the lowest. She does a hot. He does a shield. The shield, in my opinion, is much is a much better thing. She does with battle dance 60, uh, twenty percent attack and twenty speed. He does twenty five percent damage and twenty five percent effect accuracy. Much much better. And then street poison. She's really the only competition, right? The crit damage, the attack up, and the pressure, and the fact that it stacks is still going to be better than Yang. So she still is the queen of buffing, but Yang is definitely second place now for everything that he brings into the actual battle. Summertime, baby. If you guys don't have them, I suggest you build them up. 
All right, guys, it's Payne. I hope the showcase was worth it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll talk to you guys in the next one.